So previously I made a video describing um, the swash plate problem and I'll provide a link for it in the description. Uh, basically I turn this on and the swash plate goes on uh, goes forward. So Horizon sent me a board. Uh, I've since then installed it. It's worked fine. Um, I crashed again and I got the problem, um, the swash plate problem again with the new board. And uh, what I did is at that point in time, I decided to uh, disconnect the board and put the original board back. And after I did that, um, the swash plate problem went away. However, earlier today, I crashed and now I'm at the same, I'm at square one again. I have the same problem with the swash plates forward again. So what I want to do in this video is um, I want to demonstrate where I'm at, the swash plate problem, and I'm convinced that disconnecting one or more of these and then reconnecting it will solve the swash plate problem. So I'm going to try to do that in the video. Um, so here we go. Let me turn on the transmitter and plug this in. You'll see the swash plate is forward. See where it doesn't respond to the elevator, it responds to the aileron. So basically the same issue as before. Um, let me put the model hold and see if if we get the same issues uh, with the this mode let me see if this thing sticks okay so this time it's not sticking like it was before An agility mode used to stick so as that as should be Whatever you do with the stick, it should do it. So if you go back to center, it should go back to center. That's 3D mode. Same thing. Okay, back to signal. All right, so anyways, I'm going to... going to uh, disconnect the board. And that's just the swash plate going back to forward. So let's go ahead and try to do this. Take it off. Um, that away. I'm going to done this once before and it's a real pain in the butt to get these things off. Let me just take a look at these, see if I can remember where. So, pull this off. That one goes on that side. This one goes here. <laughs> if you guys know a trick to get this out easy, let me know. I'm going to 
goes so far, it just seems so hard. Just gonna hold on to this one just so I remember that's where it goes. Alright, so they're all off. So hopefully that's enough. Put that back. Put this one back. This one goes here. back Stuck to the magnet. The motor. Actually, let me do the front one first. See if that works. Yeah, throw out a hold, I know. Okay. Let me lift this thing up. The antenna. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it worked. That's all I wanted to demonstrate. Let me actually let me just check uh agility. That's working fine. Yeah. Yep. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um one thing to note is one other thing is that so I, I own a Nano QX, a Nano QX quadcopter, and compared to this, I feel the Nano QX flies much better than this. I'm just tightening this, just making sure it's tight because that's another issue that you want to make sure it's tight. So yeah, 
some other issues I've had with this helicopter is drifting. Um, also, when I seem to fly it aggressively, it seems to like wobble. Um, and as I said, compared to the Nano QX, the Nano QX is much more stable. I fly that aggressively and that handles everything I throw at it. Um, so it feels like maybe a batch of these are bad or something. I don't know, whatever that means. Because I've seen a lot of Nano QX videos online and a lot of people are having success with this helicopter. Um, but as for me, I haven't really had much luck. So anyhow, again, thanks for watching. Bye.